in the previous lecture we discussed the how to calculate the earliest time and the latest time by forward pass and backward pass computations in this lecture we will discuss the how to calculate the total float free float and independent float for a given network diagram before that one we will see the some basic definitions and the important formulas first one is the float float is defined as the difference between the latest and the earliest activity time slack is defined as the difference between the latest and the earliest event time here basic difference between the slack and float is slack is used for events only and float is used for activities there are mainly three kinds of floats are there first one is the total float it refers to the amount of time by which the completion of an activity could be delayed behind the earliest expected completion time without affecting the overall project duration time so mathematically we are defined the total float is the it is the difference between the latest start time and the earliest start time of the activity so tf equal to ls minus es one more formula is there tf is lj minus ei minus tij here lj is the latest time for activity at head the event j ei is the earliest time for activity at tail event i and free float is the time by which the completion of an activity can be delayed behind the earliest finish time without affecting the earliest start time of the subsequent succeeding activity so mathematically we are defined as the free float is the ej minus ei minus tij independent float is the amount of time by which the start of activity can be delayed without affecting the earliest start time of any immediately following activities assuming that the preceding activity has finished as its latest finish time so mathematically we are defined as the independent float is the ej minus li minus tij here ei is the earliest time at event j ei is the earliest time at event i tij is the normal activity time and li is the latest time at event i so these are the important formulas we have to remember the so these formulas for the calculation of the total float free float and the independent float so let's see the example problem to determine the three different floats here it is given the activity a b c d and e and normal activity time that is the two days for the activity a three days for the activity b and two days for the activity c and four days for the activity d and two days for the activity e so for this example in this previous lecture we calculated the earliest time and the latest time by forward and backward pass computations here we are determine the total float free float and independent float for this one first draw a tabular column and write a activities along its normal time so for activity a that is the 1 2 2 
normal time is the 2 and for the activity B that is 1, 2, 3, normal time is the Tij that is the 3 and for activity C that is 2 to 4, Tij is the 2 and for the activity D that is 3 to 4, so normal time Tij is the 4 and activity F 4 to 5, normal time Tij is the 2. Next we have to note down the latest finished time and as well as the earliest start time. First you have to note down the earliest start time that is the EI by observing the network diagram. First we have to start for the activity 1, 2, 2. So activity 1, 2, 2 earliest start time is the 0 at event 1. Next one is the activity B that is 1, 2, 3. For activity B, 1, 2, 3, earliest start time is the at event 1 that is the 0. Next activity 2, 2, 4. Earliest start time is the at event 2 that is the 2. Next activity D, 3, 2, 4. Earliest start time is at event 3 and earliest start time also it is the 3. Next activity 4 to 5. Earliest start time is the at event 4 that is the 7. Next we have to note down the latest finish time LJ by observing the network diagram. So first we have to start for the activity 1, 2, 2. For activity 1, 2, 2, latest finish time at event 2 and the value is the 5. Next activity 1, 2, 3. For activity 1, 2, 3, so latest finish time is the 3 at event 3. Next activity 2 to 4. For activity 2 to 4, latest finishing time is the at event 4 and value is the 7. Next activity D 3 to 4. Activity 3 to 4. Latest finish time is at event 4. That is the 7. Next one is the Activity 4 to 5. For activity 4 to 5, latest finish time is at event 5 and the value is the 9. Next, we have to determine the earliest finish time by using the formula ES plus TIJ. Here we know the ES values. This is observing by the network diagram and TIJ value also we know the for the all the activities. Then we have to determine the EF equal to the ES plus TIJ. First to see the activity 1, 2, 2. That is the ES equal to the 0 and TIJ is the 2. So 0 plus 2 it will become the 2. Next activity B this is the 0 plus 3 that is the 3. Next activity 2, 2, 4 that is the 2 plus 2. 4. Next activity D, 3 plus 4, 7. Next activity E, 7 plus 2, that is the 9. Similarly, we will calculate the latest start time by using the formula latest finish time minus activity time. Here we know the latest finish time and also we know the TIJ values. Then activity A, latest start time will become the latest finish time minus activity time that is the 5 minus 2 it is the 3 and next one activity b so it is the 3 minus 3 it will become the 0 next activity c that is the 7 minus 2 it will become the 5 
नेक्स्ट एक्टिविटी डी दैट इज दी सेवन माइनस फोर इट विल कम दी थ्री एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज दी एक्टिविटी ई दैट इज दी नाइन माइनस टू दैट इज दी सेवन After the completion of the earliest and latest time cal calculations, next we have to draw a another tabular column for the calculation of the total float, free float, and independent float along its formulas. First, we have to see the total float. So, total float is defined as the L S minus E S. First, we have to observe the activity A. For activity A. Ls is the so Ls is the three and Es is the zero so three minus zero it will become the three next for the activity B so for activity B that is the zero minus zero it will become the zero next one is the activity C for activity C so five minus two it will become the three And next activity D, so three minus three, it will become the zero. Next activity E, seven minus seven, it will become the zero. Next we will go the calculation of free float and independent float. Here we have to write down the so another tabular column. Along with the four columns, note down the T I J, E E I, and the E J and the L I values by observing the network diagram. So first we have to note down the T I J formula form. So T I J values. This is we know activity time for A is the two and B is the three and C is the two and D is the four and E is the two. Next, we have to note down the E I values by observing the network diagram. First, I have to see the activity one, two, two. So here zero. Next one is the activity B. So earliest start time that is also zero. Next activity C here start time is the two. So here for activity C it will become the two. Next one is the activity D. So activity D here D is missing. So activity D is the three to four. So earliest start time at the three. Next for the activity E, so E is the four to five. So at four E I value is the seven. Next we have to calculate the E J values by observing the network diagram. So here he E J is the. So have to determine by the network diagram. First we have to see the activity. One to two for one to two, E J value will become the two. Next activity B one two three. So one two three. So here E J is the three. Next activity C two two four. Here E J value is the seven. Next activity D. So that is the three to four. So E J is the at event four. That is the seven. Next activity E four to five. Here E J will become the at event five. That is the value is the nine. Similarly, we determine the L I values for all the activities. So L I. So latest start time. First we have to see for the activity one two two. For activity one two two, so latest start time. So it is the starting time. So it is the latest start time. It is the zero. Similarly, activity B one two three. So latest start time. That is the L I. Start time is the. So this is the here. It is the starting. Start time is the zero. Next one is the activity C that is the two to four for two to four starting is at the two and this is the latest start time that is the five. Next activity D so start will at event three so starting time 
at event e then time will become the here latest start time is the 3 and next activity e it will be start 4 to 5 then starting time at the event 2 4 and this is the latest start time that is the li then it will this value is the 7 so we determine the ei ej and li values by observing the network diagram then we have to substitute all the values in the free float equation first observe the free float is defined as the ej minus ei minus tij first we have to see for the activity a one so for activity a ej is the 2 ei is the 0 and tij is the 2 so 2 minus 0 minus 2 it will become the 0 next for the activity b so it is the ej is the 3 ei is the 0 and tij is the 3 so it is the 3 minus 0 minus 3 so it will become the 0 next one is the for activity c 7 minus 2 minus 2 it will become the 3 next activity d 7 minus 3 minus 4 it will become the 0 next activity e 9 minus 7 minus 2 it is also 0 similarly we determine the individual so independent float that is the ej minus li minus tij so first we have to see the activity 1 2 2 yeah for activity 1 2 2 so ej is the 2 and li is the 0 and tij is the 2 so it is the 2 minus 0 minus 2 it will become the 0 similarly activity b ej is the 3 minus li is the 0 minus 3 so 3 minus 0 minus 3 it will become the 0 next for the activity c it is the 7 minus 5 minus 2 so it will become the 0 next one is for activity d 7 minus 3 minus 4 it is also 0 and next activity e it is the 9 minus 7 minus 2 it is also 0 so this is the solution and thank you